Well, hello guys, this is an episode of Total Fisherman 6502. Today, you join me on the banks of one of my um, private pits in Lincolnshire. And as you may have already guessed, uh, I've fished this lake plenty of times before. And this is the lake where I actually got my um, first 20 pounder. And this is the exact swim, in fact, from that rod there. So that snag. So, um, it's Friday. I'm going to run you through the spots. Left hand rod, as you probably already guessed, is to the snag right over there. Uh, probably about it there. Uh, the right hand rod's probably in the centre of your screen now. In like the 90 degree angle of the lilies, right up against there. That's the middle rod on a solid bag. That left hand rod's just on a simple 18mm bottom bait. Both 30 pound braid. And then the right hand rod is smack bang on that bar in between that bed of lilies and there um, and that's my right hand rod uh, and that's just off on a ronnie rig simple ronnie rig all on urbans torn urban spicy fish and uh, one on the new urban baits which is um, the strawberry nutcracker which I've just bought to try uh, we're here for three nights it's Friday night now, or well, Friday today so we're doing Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night going on Monday sometime Book Monday off work, and I'm absolutely buzzing. I've booked it off now because I've got an absolute corker yeah, of a two twenties from this swim, a sixteen common. I've just seen a fish there. Just off the back of them, Elizabeth. Just see it ripple now. They've been milling about. I seen one drifting right by me here, so I'm wondering whether to bait this margin just for the night time, uh, as it swum straight by me here. Good upper twenty. Um, and that's very uncommon for when I fished this lake. I mean, you didn't, you didn't Easily see it thing. You never seen him cruising about on top or anything like that. Uh, but it's a good three, four years since I have fished this lake. So um, I know the fish have been getting bigger because the leather I caught um, came out not long back at 28. It's not something. as clear as when I used to fish it. But it is pretty clear. As you can see, it's still padded up. So there's plenty of features for them and plenty of snap. Hopefully, I can get one or two tamed of the old urbans. morning um, eventful night for me last night I uh, got this on this little bad boy on the middle rod uh, it's gone 18 pound one with the weight of the sling so I'm guessing it's going to be about 14 for the apple pound. slices on that perler I don't want to take too long because it's pretty warm but come back to the lake where I caught my first ever 20 and on the first night middle rod is absolutely screamed off solid bag small 12 milli pink Strawberry nutcracker, first time I've brought that. And boom, look at that for a stud of the fish. What an absolute stunner. We've took some pictures and we've weighed it. So um, let's slip this fella back. It ripped off at about half past 11 last night. I am so happy with it. I'll just quickly show you the other side. It's not as nice because there's a scale missing, but it's still an absolute cracking of fish. Come on, mate. I don't like being picked up, I'll tell you that. And there's the other side. It's absolutely whappy, so I'm not going to take long with it. But there you go. What a cap. Let's slip her back. 
excellent stuff. Mwah. fish to report as yet the time is 1.40 Saturday afternoon 7th of July and we're fast approaching the England game and uh, I'm not going to lie I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> nah I'm only missing we're going to hammer them Carp just cruising around there, round off at bar. Just been right in margin here coming across that and back round. Can't get camera quick enough. But they're in the area. I've uh, been watching all afternoon really. A majority of them have been right up there. Um, but uh, it's good to see that they've um, they're moving back. There's one, it's just, just the other side of them pads now. Just sit back on it. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, they're still about and they're still having it. Uh, it's been beautiful today, eyes are 29, it's been absolutely roasting. We just watched the England game, they've hammered Sweden, what a game it was. So we're through to the first semi-final I've ever seen, England in, first for 28 years apparently.
two fish have just lumped out, I can't believe it. One about five foot off them lilies, and one about ten foot off my Never really seen fish showing in here, and I've just seen two corkers, both probably upper 20s. Um, my end of the lake as well. Probably not 30 yard off at bank, 20 yard off at bank. down at about half ten last night uh, it's 20 past 10 on Sunday morning now and uh, I've woke up this morning at about half seven eight o'clock looked at my left hand rod and the line were above alt pads so I thought well, hey, what's happened here so anyway I've picked up the left hand rod um, tried to reel it in it's just been solid and I think that the fish has either kited towards me and left into all, all them reeds uh, you know where left hand rod is, it's right along there. So you just focus. Right along on that point there where it, it goes in in a cove and then out, it's on the point there. Well, hello guys, yeah, so as I was saying, um, lost one on the left hand rod last night. I'm still confident of another bite.
Well, good morning guys. Um, no fish to report throughout last night, Sunday night. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why. I can't explain it. There were fish showing. Um, they were all over. Guy opposite me had one. We're going to give it another probably an hour, hour of pushing, pushing it while we pack up. I'm just going to have a steady pack down now. I hope it doesn't rain. Um, but it looks absolutely bang on for a bite. It's nice and cool still. Um, it's not like it has been for the last two days. We're about this time. It's been absolutely roasting. I'm going to keep at it. I've recast that middle rod at six this morning. That solid bag I walk up and recast. And uh, I'm produced out. I've changed rigs, baits. I've gone through the works. I think I know what I need next time. I've been using the urban baits, spicy fish, 18 millis, bottom baits. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep them on the hook uh, long enough for a bite. Um, every time I've reeled in, there's been bait gone. So um, I'm going to have to get something sorted for that. Either get the wafters. The cock just wafters there a lot They're harder. absolutely cracking baits or uh, get the hardened hookers that they do. And give them a try. Um, but yeah, I'll stop babbling on. And start having a steady pack down now, I think. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be coming back here. Well guys, it's come to the end of the episode now. Um, I've, I hope you've enjoyed it. Times uh, 20 past one Monday afternoon. Um, you sh as you can see, the weather conditions are absolutely pucker. Still cloud covered. It were even spitting with a bit of rain earlier, and we hadn't had rain for ages. Um, so pressure's dropped, and I reckon they'd have been on it today. Looked cracking for a daytime bite, but unfortunately, we've got to get home. Like I say, this is a place where I caught my first 20, and just looking at it now, it just, oh, just want to stay. <laughs> But we'll be back. Like I said, I'm getting my um, smaller setup sorted, um, which will be absolutely pucker for this lake. Because again, to this left hand rod here, you're only casting six wraps. It's about 40, 30 yard, not far at all. Um, so yeah, I'll stop blobbing on anyway. Um, tight lines, wet nets till next time. <laughs>